This is Irrigation Talk with Jeff Coffey. All right, we're here at the valve box for the irrigation system for the drain field, the green fence, the Carex Meadow, uh, the Manzanita Garden, and the lower slope. It's all controlled by the Hunter node. <clears throat> if there's ever any questions about this, you can just Google Hunter node, N-O-D-E, and you'll get the instruction manual right there at the top of the list and uh, a very handy reference. And, and I think you have it on file yeah. too. Uh, this clip just goes like this and you just clip it to the first solenoid. It just keeps it up off the ground. <clears throat> and then you can pull it out like this. <clears throat> Usually it will, you know, when, when there's no activity, it will just be, um, it'll just be blank and you push any button to bring up this. It just shows what time it is. And now this is called idle mode because nothing is actually running. Now to get the, the water flowing, you just hold down the, the play button, basically the right, right pointing button. Hold it down for a couple seconds until something pops up. There, we got station number one. We're gonna give it the plus button to give it five minutes. And now it's all set. It counts down from 10. You hear the click and the flow of water. And now station one is gonna run for five minutes. You can adjust that on the fly. Say, oh, actually we want that to be for 10 minutes. So it's gonna run for 10 minutes and then it will turn off by itself. Or if we wanted to turn it off ourselves, we would just click down to zero. To turn off. Yep, and it's gonna go up, count down from 10. 10, oh, click off. Okay, that was station one. Let's say we wanted to run station two. I hold down the play button until I see that something happen. I click it again for station two, then up to five. And station one corresponds Boom. to... I'll do. I'll get okay, those again. Okay, sorry. And now I hear station two, two. running. Okay. Um, the thing is that it wants you to do all that stuff in a fairly quick sequence. If you... Let's turn it off. Oops. <clears throat> okay, I'm back down to zero. It's going to go click, turn off, hopefully. Turn off, please. I think what happened there is that when I, I, I clicked uh, the negative button down below zero, and it then took me to six hours. Oh. You know, it just sort of like wrapped around below. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna take it all the way back down to zero here. zero. There we go. Now we're off. Uh, the thing is that when you when you start it up and, and then you you need to choose what station and then choose how much time, if you pause for more than you know three or five seconds in between those things, it'll just assume that you're done and it'll, and it'll, it'll turn, off, turn off. off. So you've got to do it, you know, think about it in advance what you want to do. Like, oh, I want station three. Then remember, you hold it down, quickly get to three, give it some time, time. and then, it, you know, that will turn on at least and now you can figure out how much time you want, whether it's four minutes so or So as long minutes, as you get it going, you're fine, and once then you, you get can it going. set it to the time that you yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. We'll take oh, it back down to zero, and then it should just click off. Okay. Yeah. Now the, the four stations are in order from the direction of flow. The water's coming in this way. The first station is for the green fence, the perimeter of the, the drain field. The second station is for the Carex Meadow. The third station is for the Manzanitas over on the north side there. And the fourth and last station is for the lower area. Um, and I'll write that down for you also. Okay. And uh, I think that's it. We're not going to go through programming it right now because okay. we will wait until all of that is, is together before we program okay. it. Right now we just want to be able to do it manually.